correct, Glenda. Police are working on a suspect composite at this time. Now, Darren Burks was murdered as he walked down the sidewalk here, and police have not ruled out that he was mistaken for someone else. And you I guys, never thought it would happen to me, to my son. He was good, lover, but he didn't do nothing to nobody. Sometimes there are no words to describe a mother's agony or a brother's pain, and the murder of Darren Burks has left a hole in the hearts of everyone who loved him. A young man with special needs who Detroit police say was gunned down for no apparent reason. Well, you have a young man, um, 24 years old, you know, going to continued education, dealing with, you know, cerebral palsy, and and just go to go to school, go to after work, you know, go back and forth to the store and get killed, is nonsense. It was Sunday afternoon. 24-year-old Darren Burks was walking home along Fingal here near Freeland when Detroit police say a man walked from across the street and as soon as Darren passed him, he opened fire on him, shooting him in the back before fleeing in a vehicle. And his last words was, call my mother. <laughs> and then he died. Darren attended the Charles Drew Transition Center, a post-secondary school where young adults with special needs work to gain life skills. And Darren worked in the kitchen here. We're told fellow students and staff are devastated and undergoing grief counseling as Detroit police search for Darren's killer. That was my little brother, but he was like my son. You know, I mean, when he was born, they said he wasn't going to be able to walk or talk. He was able to graduate from high school, uh, once again had a job. You know, he was our miracle child. Yeah. And for somebody to do something like that is not right. Down. I pray to somebody catch his killer because he didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it at all. He didn't bother nobody. If anybody know any information about this, please let the police know. And Darren's family and police are hoping someone out there holds the key to solving his murder. If you have any information, even if you think it's something insignificant or small, please call Detroit Police Homicide Investigators right away. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, and I'm sure a lot of people are praying right along with them, hoping that someone Absolutely. will come forward and say Absolutely. something. Thank you so much.